Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to go over if you want to schedule an appointment with somebody, suppose you have gone through, you know, we you, you put your your success plan on your wall, everything is going great. You have some people who are interested or you use the inbox technique or strategy and people are interested. Uh, what is your next move? Well, you can send them to a demo, you can schedule an appointment to that demo to a webinar. Or maybe you have a specific training, you want to show them one on one, one on one, or you want to take them to a conference call or a Zoom. The choice is up to you. You want to work individually with people. You don't have time for that. So you want to just get a whole bunch of people on a call and tell everybody on a call. And if they miss the call, that's it. That's a good way to do it. But you want to schedule the appointment for them so that they can know when the call is maybe you have your calendar set for a call uh totally up to you how you want to do uh, your calls and stuff like that maybe you have two days two selections and then you do call to, you do uh, two calls a week however you want to do it this is a good scheduling an appointment it's so um, platform it's so simple to use so i'm going to log in i'm going to show you how to get started first so to get started, you just um, do this, put in your name, your email, and a password, and you can sign up for free, or you can use uh, set up on Facebook or Google Plus. All right, and then after you do that, I'm gonna log in because I already have an account. You sign in, and then. I would tell you to go here because this is the best way to do it. Um, so you go here and then you can configure a lot of stuff. Uh, Set more is going to give you a link, but you can edit it to where to whatever you want this to look like. So if you want to change the name, you can configure. So you could put your company name. Um, if you have a picture, you can put a contact information here where they can reply to you can also put a brief um saying what a brief about you here um and you know how to set up all your if you put your facebook your twitter link and if you want to put a label in a url as many urls as you want you could put here so i love that uh, you could put your business hours what your business hours are um, and put the time zone you're in. I'm Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you could do your booking policies. Uh, what you want your your the person who's sending your their appointment to be. The time slot slots I have it in 15 minute increments. You can make it half an hour, an hour, as much as you want. You can give them advance notice. <clears throat> There's no limits to. Um, I have no limits to advance. In advance, our customers allowed to book their appointment. I have no limits right now. I just want their email address for now. They don't need to give me anything else. Um, and these are just different things that you can read and figure out what you want. Uh, you can show what you want to show on your page once they go to your page. And if you want to review, um, they have a review page. So once you set all of that up, you can go visit your page and you'll see all the stuff that oh let me go back I got to show you this part so if you go here you can set up you go here and you add plus and you add services you can put your services here so I have three services here but you can add categories and you can put your services if you want so right here you click services it'll give you a box and then you could just put in whatever you want and then save it i have three right here and that's going to show up on my page let me show you what it looks like so you can add a picture if you want you can change the color of the um icon to differentiate you put a title you can put a description uh, i do the free half an hour coaching it's 30 minutes and i give a five minute buffer then you make sure that whatever you or your staff, you can add a staff if you want to. You can add staff members if you have staff members. 
and you can add um, if you don't you just have your name here and if you don't if you want to get rid of one of your services you just have to click that box okay and that's it go back to configuration you can either click on this link or visit your page once you do that it'll have everything that you have here your website everything that you have here you can do that and if someone comes in and clicks on your link it'll show you show your hours if you had a staff member it'll show that too so you, they'll click on that because they want to have that and you know if they want to click like a Saturday appointment once they click on the Saturday appointment they can create a profile to complete your booking please create a profile you can skip the process if they want to they could put their name and their email because that's all I required and if you see this um, they agree to the cancellation policy no cancellation or rescheduling is permitted within an hour hours within one hour of the appointment time so that that'll give you some freedom to not be tied down to their scheduling I like these things because it gives them no nonsense pull to it so they put their name and email they agree and then when they continue they book their time and it'll be set all set for them to go it's really a cool setup also what's a good feature is the booking page on the booking page you can do some really cool things with it you can change your URL I edited mine and it's put meet with Shay so you can change the URL you can put your company details here I think I went over that but here is where it gets cool booking policies you can put your booking policies here so I put thank you for booking with us and you can put it here it'll come up as a pop-up um, when you first get started so that pop-up that you see that happens on my page that happens because I put a note to the customer so you could put whatever you want your customers to know if you want them to do something after they book a call with you that's what I put here I said thank you for booking a call with us if you're booking a strategy call please fill out the form on the confirmation page it will be highlighted clickable located at the bottom of the page click OK to confirm and you are keeping that you are keeping your appointment so I did put in something that I want them to do so that is on your booking page which you will find right here at the bottom of your settings so when you click on settings you go to booking your page right so you go here it'll take your booking page and then you put in booking policies and it will take you over to the policy that you want to set up also so like for me i wanted them to actually fill out a form so here is where you can do it here pretty cool to do it here you would just put important click to fill out the strategy call form right fill out out strategy call right and then you would put in the URL you want to take them to so when they walk to the end of your form it will have it on here I'm going to show you what it looks like so hold on a second let me get to that page and I'll show you exactly what it looks like so as you can see as soon as you open up my um, my strategy page or my booking page this will pop up they will always see this all your customers will see this and when they're done it'll click OK and now let me show you at the end where they can um, go and fill out that form okay so your potential client has filled out a form they click on agree and they continue it says book an appointment and they book the appointment there's a confirmation page and right there it says important click fill out strategy call application right and that's what I put into this booking policy you don't see the whole thing but it's it's there and then you put the link you put your link right here where it says put the link and that's why it's highlighted so when you click on here it should go to the actual form which it does and then they start their thing by watching this video Hi, my name is Sharon. Stewart. And then continue and fill out the form the way I have them do it. So that's a beautiful way to continue 
the um, process. This way you'll have the, your inf the, the information you want to have on your call based on what they are saying inside your call. So it's pretty cool. So that's how you do it, guys. If you want it, um, let me know and I'll save the link or click on the bottom of this video if, you if it's in a page where it has the link in it. Thanks so much for watching and success in all your calls.